Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new episode, and welcome my friends to a very exciting video. Unfortunately guys, I have got this random cold out of nowhere, and it's making me, uh, you know, a little bit groggy, so I do apologise if my voice sounds a little bit strange, but hashtag get well soon Tony, down below in that comment section to speed up my recovery. But for now guys, it's time to get ourselves into some live action, and we are gonna have some fun. So there's only a couple of hours left before this Earthquake Spell event ends, and I figured, you know what, why don't we try something cool inside of a friendly war? So we're currently inside of a friendly war against my Feeder Clan General YouTube, and we're going to use 12 Earthquake Spells and 9 Max Peckers, and we're going to see what happens when we use all of it on a Town Hall 11 base. But of course we do have two live attacks, so the second one is going to be all ground troops, all earthquake spells against the Town Hall 11. What happens when we use every single ground troop inside of the game, inside of COC? Stay tuned guys, that will be the second live attack as I said, but check this out. 12 earthquake spells, we've actually got 13, but we're going to keep the second one for the second live attack guys. So we're going to drop 4, 4 and 4 to open up 3 different compartments in the base, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that they don't actually have any defending clan castle troops. This is a friendly war, so it's not really that serious. Let's see if they do. I'm hoping it's not going to be air, because if it is, I could find my peckers in a little bit of trouble. So let's see, guys. Let's see what actually happens. Smash that like button down below if you think we're going to two-star. If you think we're going to one-star, then let me know down below in that comment section. Can we get a two-star? If you think we can, smash the like button to show that support, guys. Here we go. Baby dragon and a dragon and a balloon. We could be about to lose these peckers. Let's see what happens. Check this out, guys. Nine peckers. Literally, do not try this at home. It is it is pretty damn stupid to do it. But, of course, it is only a friendly war. And it's not really that serious, guys. So, hopefully, we can actually grab this Eagle Artillery as quickly as we can. But here we go. This is where it's going to get scary. Dragons are coming. Do you know what I've just realized? I've just realized we haven't dropped the Wizards and the Archers. We could have actually saved those peckers if I'd use those wizards and the archers, but to be fair, this is all about the peckers, and uh, unfortunately, they don't really, you know, take out dragons, so unfortunately, that was never going to happen. Check it out though, 43%, and we can actually drop these wizards and these archers down the bottom, so anyone who smashed that like button, and of course, told us we were going to get a two star, you guessed correctly, check it out guys, two star is actually going to come in, so you've won yourself some luck. So we have a couple of archers remaining. Queen is possibly going to grab this Inferno Tower. Let's see if she can. But as I promised, we're going to get ourselves into a second live attack in a couple of moments. Now, we still have that Earthquake spell. And we also still have some wizards inside of that clan castle. So we're going to go ahead and make 11 more Earthquake spells. But we're going to have to, I think it lets me keep the army because it's a friendly war. So we're going to delete the Pekka army. I know, guys, wasting 9 Pekkas. But what do you want me to do? I can't really do anything with them. And then we're actually going to build our, uh, our all-ground army. Now, all-ground army means every single troop, apart from balloons, baby dragons, dragons, and minions. Is that it? I think those are the only air troops. I I I'm not sure. Are they the only air troops? Balloons, dragons, baby dragons, and minions. Yeah, I think so. So check it out, guys. We're actually going to show you the, uh, the attacks done on my base after, because I do have a troll base set in action. But of course, it's time to delete those peckers. Alright Peckers, you've done an amazing job, grab me a 2 star and a Town Hall 11, not bad, I may actually try this attack strategy inside of a real war. If you want to see that inside of a real war, 10,000 likes on this episode and we will do it guys, we'll do it inside of the next live war. All Peckers, 9 Peckers inside of a live war, a real live war to see what happens, so here we go. Let's see what we can do against their number 1 base, so that's their number 2, that's the one we just striked, let's take down this one here. Let's go in for that attack, guys. So, in a couple of moments, once this live attack is over, we're going to go ahead and check out one of the replays on my base, which is actually a snake troll base. Then we're going to get ourselves into a real live attack inside of the multiplayer battlefield using this army you can see on screen. So take a look down below, guys, at the troops. We've literally got every single troop inside of the game, which is ground. We got Dark Elixir Troops, Elixir Troops, and of course the Heroes. Grand Warden is also set to ground. 11 Earthquake Spells, and we're going to be opening up once again three different sections of the base. This time we're hoping for a good, decent percent. I don't really know what's going to happen, guys. This is kind of like a strange army to me. And always, when I do these kind of attacks where I use loads of troops, it's really tricky to chuck down all the troops down. So we're just going to try and, you know, spam them. Get the clan castle down, there we go, gonna see if we can drop the giants, then we're gonna go in with the wizards, see if we can get the uh, the witches, the bowlers, 
every single one of these troops we're just gonna see if we can spam them hopefully they're gonna survive by the time we come back to the actual heroes as well here we go barbarian king still needs to go down we're gonna put the grand warden's ability really early just in case i don't know try and keep as many of them alive as possible i don't think it's really looking great to be honest with you guys but um i don't really know we've kind of lost everything there goes the final barbarian the hero barbarian He's actually running for the CC. Check it out, guys. He's going straight for the town. Oh, and he melts by the Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower just melted, and we just missed the Queen's ability as well. That was unfortunate. Didn't even get to use that. And there goes the Barbarian King's ability, and it looks like this is actually worse. A lot worse than the Nine Peckers. So uh, who would have thought it, guys? This looks like it has completely failed. So uh, we're going to go ahead once these, uh, these troops die, and we're going to check out the attack on my base. Now, the attack on my base should be pretty cool. Because as I said, we actually have a snake base set in motion, so that should be awesome. Please don't forget guys, we are doing a 1.3 million subscriber giveaway. I'm guessing there's going to be an update coming out to Clash of Clans during February, maybe March. And of course, I know loads of you are younger players and you don't, you know, you don't have money for gems or you don't work. Or your parents don't want to give you, you know, money to spend on games and stuff. Which is kind of true, I don't think I would either if I was a parent. So we are doing a $250 giveaway. If you want the chance to win part of that, guys, for iTunes and Android, all you need to do is smash that like button down below just to show some support. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. That is it, guys. Once we reach 1.3 million subs, we will do a $250 giveaway. So check this out. This is my notorious snake base, and uh, it's looking pretty damn impressive right now. He's actually dropping all his heroes, all his bowlers, and the four Teslas. I've pretty much done a lot of damage already. There go his healers getting taken out by some of those air mines. Heal spell's gone down really early. Now the beautiful thing about this base is we got loads of spring traps and it pretty much takes out a lot of the bowlers. And it's looking like we've demolished his army. He's dropped down a heal spell. Nothing actually inside of it, guys. There's the last of his bowlers. The heroes have pretty much melted as well. The queen has just gone down. Last rage spell goes down. He's still got a heal spell. He needs to use that ASAP. He has come nowhere near to a one star, but hilarious attempt and massive shout out to every single member of the uh, the feeder clan and of course the main clan YouTube general. I always get mixed up between the two. One's called YouTube general, one's called general YouTube. Two great clans. Feel free to come and try and join one, guys, if there are any spaces. So my friends, now it's time to get ourselves into a live attack. Now there's actually been quite a few attacks on my base, but they're all pretty similar and I think they all actually failed because that base is pretty tricky if you spawn where you're meant to spawn inside of the snake's head or inside of the snake's tail. So check it out, we're going to delete these earthquake spells because we got too many. So we're going to delete three of the earthquake spells and we're going to bring a rage spell and a poison. Should we bring a poison because for a CC that sounds good and we still have every single one of the ground troops inside of the game So we're gonna get ourselves into this live attack if you have made it this far into the episode I want you to go down below in that comment section and tell me how many stars do you think we are gonna pick up? You are gonna be a little bit surprised because we're gonna look for a town hall 10 So we found many town hall 11 bases so far guys and this appears to be our first town hall 10 base Now obviously we do have the entire ground army with us and we are about to rock this base down So let's see what actually happens so four earthquake spells gonna go in right on that elixir collector Sorry just below the elixir collector to see if we can break open the wall and the second one's gonna go around the inferno tower And that's gonna give us access into the base and of course into the course and this is a ring base so there's nothing really you know hiding from us we can go into every single section so we're gonna start this off guys golem goes down everything is just gonna get spammed in just lost the bowler there to a spring trap wasn't really that serious there goes the barbarian king valkyries there goes the grand warden's ability gonna drop in the rage spell before we actually drop in the rest of the army trying to take that inferno tower out as quickly as i can healers going at the back i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing they are still alive so it could be a good thing here we go guys I just realized healers are not a ground troop. That's quite sad. I only just realized that. Or are they? Because they only heal ground. I don't really know. Are healers a ground troop? Obviously they do fly, but they heal ground and they don't heal air. I don't really know, guys. I honestly have no idea. But anyway, two star has already been secured. So anyone that said a two star, you could be correct. But it actually looks like if we can grab this Inferno Tower, there goes the Queen's Ability. It looks like we can three star this Town Hall 10 base using pretty much an entire ground army apart from the healers there may be miscellaneous i don't know if they're ground i don't know if they're air 
I honestly don't really know what to say about that, guys. As I said, let me know down below in that comment section. Would you rank them as ground or rare? For now, though, it doesn't really matter. 78%, 79, these witches. I don't know if you guys actually saw yesterday's second video, but the witches actually three-starred a Town Hall 11 base. All max witch army. 20 witches. I think they are possibly the greatest troop in the game right now. I haven't really been testing them. And we might actually test the witches inside one of the next videos. Because I want to see if they're better than, you know, they're one of the main meta attacks in the game. We haven't really tested them against balloons, really. Balloons are one of the greatest troops right now, especially the level 7 ones. And they attack so quickly. But witches, they're so different, so unique, so diverse. And we haven't really tested to see if they're great. They're definitely good. But do they get that great stamp of approval? There we go. Three star. Perfect. From an all-ground army. That was definitely not expected. So we're going to end this video here, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. I'm so sorry about my cold. Hopefully, fingers crossed, as I said, it does go within the next couple of days. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more COC. And, of course, all the news and updates that will be coming out. I will see you shortly. Peace out.